Hey guys, so guys, today I want to talk about ADHD then versus now. One of the most common questions I get is how did my ADHD affect me as a child? How does it affect me now? And honestly, it's a very hard question to answer because a lot of my childhood, dare I say it, was quite a lot of medication, quite sedated to the effect where it was quite hard to show that ADHD side of me because it was basically sedated most of the time. And back then I was advised by doctors, when well, my mum was advised by doctors, this is the best thing. And back then I don't think they really had a real handle on it like they do now. There was times in my life where Max was on too many pills and Max was very sedated in zombie-like mode and those decisions from my mum was like, right, we need to get him off then because yes, he's a lot more behavioural, better in class, but he's not there, you know, he's zombified, he's not, he's not there, he's not learning, he's just sedated. And even though at the time doctors was like, well, you know, we, 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 we advised, my mum would say, no, you know, he needs to come off it, it's not him, it's not him. And I think still parents sometimes in today's world are faced with that. It can be quite hard. But how ADHD really affected me as a kid was I did find it hard to pay attention. I was quite hyperactive. I remember not being able to sit still, you know, rock my knee. I remember having to run everywhere. I remember running onto my mate's trampoline and just jumping on it, refusing to get off. You know, I remember being quite hyperactive. I had a lot of energy in me that I needed to somehow get out and you know when I went on the pills it was quite difficult because I remember having that energy but still not not being like not being able to use it and and my example was I I had that energy but I I, I wouldn't feel that energy during the day like I needed to run off and go on the trampoline and stuff instead what was happening was and I always remember, big fan of wrestling, I, I'd be able to stay up throughout the night, watch the wrestling, and be able to stay up most of the nights, you know, from 12 o'clock to, you know, four o'clock onwards, and I wouldn't be tired. I could just watch it and consistently watch it and not fall asleep. Therefore, when I was going into class the next day, it still wasn't a benefit because the ADHD medicines was keeping me up, and that, in, fact was making me tired during the day because I had no energy to run off and go on to trampolines and whatever so it, in a fact it, the ADHD medicine was just keeping me awake it wasn't really doing that that effect that I needed it to do but I was quite energetic and I was I found it quite hard to pay attention and I'd much preferred looking back to have things like cognitive behavioral therapy a lot more of that than going on the pills because when I went on the pills it caused me to have a side effects of Tourette so I then developed tics and throughout the years as well later on they think that the ADHD medicine could have had a side effect on my seizure threshold meaning that I then later on had a fit. So when I came off the medicine in all honesty I stayed on the medicine a lot longer than what I should have. I was on the medicine from quite a young age and then when I was at work I then came off it. And I didn't see a lot of difference. The only difference I saw, in all honesty, was I talked a lot more and I rocked my leg a lot more and, and had those sort of little stims that an autistic person would have as well. But I, I couldn't find myself sat still quite a lot. Apart from that, I can, I can lose attention every now and again. But apart from that, I've got a pretty good handle on it now. But what I found out the other day was there was a whole year that my dad banned me from Coca-Cola because he felt it was making me hyper. And for a lot of ADHD people that I don't know is the actual dopamine level does the opposite for an ADHD person. So throughout my life, I've drank quite a lot of cola, especially in adulthood. And actually what I've learned in that time is it's actually doing the opposite side effect to what it will do for neurotypical people. That is actually calming me down, is making me more tired in some cases. And it's having the same effect that ADHD medicine can do. So I'd say the biggest difference of my ADHD then and now is the ADHD is more mental now rather than it was more physical, it was more of a physical aspect. And I couldn't pay attention as much as what I can now because I think I've grown up enough to be able to manage it a lot more and know that I need to pay attention to certain things. But I'd say that's the biggest difference is, you know, I don't have the urge to run or 
run off anywhere or or not pay attention to things anymore. The attention still is difficult. It is now more of a mental thing rather than a, a physical thing back then. And I think that for me is the biggest difference in my ADHD. But I'm not just saying that for everybody, that is just me. Guys, tell me what you think down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now.